Now, some human resource experts want academic institutions to pay key attention to training on the content of a curriculum vitae. This follows questions that were raised by some members of the appointment committee of parliament on the relevance of some information included in the CVs of nominees. A CV is an essential document when searching for a job. It contains the experiences and achievements of a person it is also one of the important requirements for people who have been nominated for ministerial positions. Although there is a format for writing a CV, it is subject to a person's experience. Elements such as work experience, academic qualification, positions held, skills and hobbies have often come to the fore in writing CVs. At the ongoing vetting of ministerial nominees, some CVs have been cited as not meeting expected standards. In some cases, positions held at basic school level or certain information put out have been considered as not relevant. I've seen an interesting award here. Sure. Nana Kwesi Ekufo, Descendants Award. That's correct. Descendants of my grandfather the late Oheni of Ekropong, Nana Kwesi Ekufu's descendants. They presented that award to me. Some CVs are as long as 15 to 20 pages. But Chief Executive Officer of HR Perspective, Dr. Edward Kwapon, believes no matter one's achievement, a CV should be summarized. Since you are putting your best foot forward, you will highlight your achievements. Mm -hmm. So for me, a CV that exceeds Five pages will be too much for me. Yeah. Beyond that, there will be too much uh, material that may not be relevant. He attributes poor CV writing to a probable lack of attention to the skill at the tertiary level. Senior lecturer and head of language department at the Ghana Institute of Journalism, David Apal, argues it is an individual skill. We learn from several sources, not just the school. You have to determine where you are taking the CV to and what, you are, what position you are looking for. So those elements will determine what you put into your CV and what you emphasize, what you bring first, what you put behind, what you highlight and what you don't highlight and so on. But who will the individual blame poor CV writing on and what elements in a CV have earned some jobs with others dropped? Sometimes, you see, most of the companies, they even actually look at your skills, even than your qualifications, because they believe your skill is something um, you, you have that someone you sat in the same classroom doesn't have. So I threw more light on my skills. You can make it a bit stylish. Some can design something, you do some, some kind of thing. You can even add your pictures or something to it. Since CV writing remains subject to an individual's achievement, its content may remain an argument even as the vetting process continues.